Check it out. New crystal I got. Super pumped about it. It's amethyst, because I'm loving the crystal. Protecting from EMF. You gotta always remember, protect yourself, man. Protect your body, y'all. Got a new song dropping soon, just so you know, bro. I hope your day's going absolutely fantastic. Hope that you are manifesting so much abundance, bro, because that is what you're here to do, man. You're here to live it up. This is what we're here for on Earth. We are here on Earth to live it up. And you deserve the best reality ever. You deserve it. You see, they might make you think that you don't deserve it. People might be putting thoughts into your head like in Soul Movie at the, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. At the end, this one character, her name is 22. And at the end, basically what's happened is she's so consumed, consumed with the, the darkness. And what is the darkness? It is these thoughts that she is basically she's hearing it from other people like from the past but she's interpreting it she's interpreting it as if it's completely true you know what i mean and so she's like this like dark like being in the astral realms she's like this dark being in the astral realms and it's like this dark being and they they don't have much sense you know they're kind of like they they're walking zombies they're walking zombies this is what happens when your vibration gets too low you become a walking zombie and you're in the in the astral plane just like in the movie the soul movie how these characters beca become stuck they become stuck 22 became stuck and basically spoiler alert for the movie soul basically what happened is joe was able to reach the astral realms from playing the piano because he was in the flow zone in the zone completely in the zone so he went into the astrals and he was able to find 22 right he was able to find 22 and basically it's this place it's this this field basically in the astrals and there's these completely dark beings and they're actually just people they're actually just people. But what happens is all of this negative energy and negative thoughts, these lower vibrations are con uh, consuming them completely. So they take on this new form. So these people are, they don't look like souls. They don't look like souls in the astrals, right? They basically don't look like souls in the astrals. And that is because this shell, this dark this dark void has taken complete control over this being and she, so this is what I'm saying what my main point is it is you deserve to live the best life ever and you cannot let anybody else tell you that you can't because you can literally do anything through quantum entanglement through the law of attraction law the quantum superpositioning we know that we are on a molecular structure dna and we have the ability to enter the quantum field and basically be a receiver of this information from the quantum field because they're vibrations these are vibrations they're frequencies everything is energy you are your whole entire body is your whole entire body Everything that makes up your trillions, trillions of cells that make up your body are all communicating faster than the speed of light. Do you understand how miraculous this is? And literally, when you start going through your spiritual awakening, when you start going through your spiritual awakening, opening up the energy flow, opening up the energy flow, the chakras, you're opening up this network, you're able to allow more synchronicities to happen in your life. Why is this? It's because you're becoming more electromagnetic. What happens when you become more electromagnetic? Your, ma your electromagnetic field is expanding. You are able to take in more of that quantum data. Synchronicities is this align this divine alignment. And you are able to basically have your own ali divine alignments. You, you can manifest what divine alignment you want. That's what I'm trying to tell you. How you see these certain synchronicities that are like, yo, how, how did this happen? Like, 
you, it can never have happened like this. Like it's the it's more than any coincidence. You know what I mean? Just thinking about it, you're just you know talking about it, and you even have dreams about it, right? You even have dreams about something, and then you see it manifest around your whole life. It is the most mind blowing, mo mind blowing thing in the world. <laughs> it's the most mind blowing thing in the world. You know what I mean? Being able to literally manifest these certain things and that's why random nautica is such a woke app basically it's a real nice woke app because what it's doing is it's opening up people to the possibility that something like this can exist you see what i'm saying something like this can exist like you think something and then it's there see people are starting to wake up to our to our to our true nature to our true nature peace oh please keep your mind at ease what is your true nature? We are all energy. So it is amazing to see now the generations are starting to wake up more and more. Starting to wake up more and more. And I'm just, well, I'm t that was my main point from the beginning is you can manifest your best life. You deserve it. And you can do this. This is your superpower. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The law of attraction. You are all energy. Billy Carson. I just had an interview with Billy Carson and he's a millionaire, a spiritual millionaire. You know why he was able to do all these things? Because he manifests it. He sets, he sets his vibrational frequency to what he wants to attract and he gets it, you know, he basically receives. Because, but it's also because he's giving. So you've got to open up the channels for the manifestation, especially when you're giving, you know, unconditional love, especially giving with unconditional love. You're creating these energy, these basically these energy signatures that are more open to receiving because love is a higher vibrational, it's a higher vibrational emotion than something like hate, you know what I mean? Something lower than that, you know, anxiety, stress, th these are low vibrations. What happens? What happens when you're living in a lower vibrational state? Your cells do not communicate as, as, as good. They're not communicating as good. And remember, just keep remembering that, just remember that our cells are communicating, the trillions, the trillions of cells that are communicating faster than the speed of light is what you got. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is from a study. I looked up scientific studies, bro. Like, I read these studies and they, they are difficult to read. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. So that's why some people might want to like put this off, but you got to look at, you got to look at what's out there. This is not well known. Uh, can you imagine? Like I mean, yeah, we got those documents, the CIA documents, right? That's awesome, but it, you, you got to do your own research. And the meaning of my name, Afius, as I was that was the whole purpose of the video is to question everything, right? You can do what you want to do, and if someone's telling you differently, then question them. Question them. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't don't take anything as a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Do your own research and question everything. My, the meaning of my name, as you can see in my TikTok bio, is question everything, right? Question everything because when you start questioning everything, that's when the whole paradigms change. The whole paradigms start changing when you start questioning because you become you become more open minded. See, being open, being more open-minded. This is something that leads to empathy as well. You see what I'm saying? The more open-minded, the more you're questioning everything, and even accepting. The more you're becoming more open-minded. This is the opening the doors for empathy, and this is what we need to make our world a better place. You see, we got these, we got the riots, right? We got all that stuff going on. People, all these sides, all these sides. We got to eliminate the labels, eliminate the labels and just see everyone as one because all is one. If we all came from the one source, we, you are literally made out of the stardust. You know what I'm saying? Like we are all one. So this is the key. Question everything because it helps, it helps to bring more love into this world. So that's the meaning of my name, Afius. How do you start a spiritual awakening? 
someone else asked me this actually they asked me how do you start the spiritual awakening how do you start a spiritual awakening how do you find out about all this kind of stuff this is what i have to say the internet the internet you can literally research anything you can research anything it's all out there it's everywhere it's a little youtube Google, I mean, yeah, some stuff getting taken out, but you know what I mean? Do do as much research all around, you know? You, you know what I mean? You want to be well-rounded in where you're getting your sources from. So, YouTube, there's so much, so much info on there. Yes, Instagram is great for helping to initiate certain thoughts, but you know what I mean? And, and ideas and concepts and information, but you also want to keep looking past, especially what you might find in one source, and look to other sources as well. So you might see a real cool post on Instagram that is helping to, you know, awaken certain thoughts, helping to s stimulate your consciousness, right? If it's doing this, that's great. But then don't forget, you can learn more, right? You can learn more by just looking it up on the internet. There's Reddit. Reddit is a great source as well. So many people be posting great things. So there's so many, so many different places that you can learn to get your knowledge and to help help kickstart your spiritual awakening i want to astral project but all the time is me falling asleep and having horrible dreams okay listen up you're having horrible dreams and you want to astral project see that's the thing if you're having horrible dreams your subconscious is already telling you that you might not be ready to astral project if you're having nightmares you have to realize that this could be the subconscious that is telling you that you need to start paying attention to something emotionally going on in your life. What is emotionally going on in your life that is preventing you from astral projecting? Because this creates a blockage, right? If there is a certain blockage, if especially within your energy, that might prevent you, that might prevent you from astral projecting. You know what I'm saying? Because the more you can the more you can boost your vibration, this helps you to be more in in connection with your soul you know what i mean your astral being your astral your soul your consciousness so i've had times i i mean it was i've had one time where i i, I was getting more anxiety than usual one day right and then the next day so and then the next morning i tried to astral project and then i had this kind of like i had this like really it wasn't a great astral projection it was like kind of creepy like everything was like super dark you know it just wasn't getting the best vibes and then like saw this image of myself that was like really creepy it was like like this black background by my face and these like red eyes i was like yo that's what happens if you have too much anxiety and you try to astral project for me personally i knew i connected the dots because you know what i mean you got to connect the dots of your thought patterns sometimes see your, your thought patterns are not you your thought patterns they're not you ex because you are the observer you are the observer right but notice what thought patterns you have because they they are keys to help helping you unlock what is going on in your subconscious it is the keys for helping you to understand what is going on in your subconscious so this is one way that you can kind of get over you know what i mean those that hump of emotional blockage when trying to astral project so that's why sometimes you might not be astral be able to astral project because you just you're just not there yet you know you, know, you want to be in a good mental place you want to be in a good mental place when you're trying to astral project because your thoughts can shift the reality around you your thoughts have somewhat of a it's this magnetic thing your thoughts right so you have to understand that your thoughts can be shaping this shaping this experience and that might not be the objective reality but you're in this place and you are getting this subjective reality because that is the thoughts that you have can 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 i be your mentor i mean here, here's the thing uh, if, if you want like additional support additional help 
I have a Patreon and you can join us, especially you can join the Zoom meetings, the Zoom calls with the, with the team, the community. But you can join the Discord as well for free. You can join the public chat for free. There are certain channels that uh, they do require the membership at the $7 low. That's to join the videos, you know what I mean? Like, cause I'm not just having a, a video chat with some random person, you know what I mean? Like, they, you, they gotta be somewhat dedicated about these kinds of things, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> there's gotta be somewhat of oh, a filter, a gate. So, pretty much, but you can join the Discord for free. We have a great loving community on there. And DM me. Also, you can DM me. I'll respond to you as well. I'll respond to you on there too. Um, but that's the thing. Like, if you become like a Patreon member, basically, you're gonna be getting my direct support. Like, you know what I mean? Like, fast. I got a lot of DMs, so it's kind of hard to answer all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, got a lot of stuff going on. I uh, wish wishing you all so much abundance and love in this life. I wish you all to just live the best life ever. That's what I wish for you so much.